Crown is a historical drama that has just come back for season 4. On the face of it, it may seem that a historical drama wouldn't be very VFX dependent, but in actual fact, VFX was not only necessary, but indispensable. One of us has been working on The Crown since the beginning. They were tasked with overcoming the two main problems that occur when producing historical dramas. The first is that they are set in the past, so many buildings or iconic structures from the time have either disappeared or changed, or their surroundings have. So these changes have to be identified and altered. The second is that of historical events. A lot of people lived through or saw these events happen, and therefore their reproduction must be similar to the original. So these events must be researched in detail. If there were massive crowds, these must be reproduced. If certain vehicles were used, they must also appear. The majority of the work in the first two seasons was digital set extensions, environmental extensions, crowd replication, creating a CG aircraft, and of course, Buckingham Palace. Their two main priorities were making their work photoreal and invisible. In Season 3, Framestore joined the team and created Heathrow Airport as it was in the 1960s. To do this, Framestore created several digital map paintings, or DMPs, of Heathrow as it was, concentrating on the instantly recognisable passenger boarding bridges from back then. This DMP was accented with crowds, ground staff and flashing lights, and added to the backgrounds of the live action plates. Artists then added a BOAC aircraft CG asset and several runway vehicles, added a BOAC Sea aircraft. Framestore also worked on several shots of the aircraft's interior, adding environments to window views. In Season 4, Framestore delivered 230 shots, which, in addition to big environmental jobs like creating a digital version of Ayers Rock, Sydney Opera House, Mystique Airport and JFK Airport, Framestore also did a deepfake face replacement technique on the equestrian who stood in for the actress playing Princess Anne in the show jumping compilation. But by far the most complex and detailed work was creating a digital stag, which not only had to be photorealistic, but had to be so realistic that you don't even begin to think that it could be digital. This was done by adding an incredible amount of detail like hairs clumping together in the rain and little pieces of grass hanging off its antlers. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this video, don't forget the links to the music used in this video are in the video description and be sure to let us know in the comments section which movie VFX you'd like to see behind next.